This is certainly a really good matchup for me. I'm gonna drop Mirror Empty. I have uh, Mad Scientist, even though it's really good against Druid. Uh, Mirror Image is not what you want against Druid because Druid doesn't really fight you with minions. They early on, them it's mostly spell based. I've, I've realized. So I'm just gonna keep this. Try to get one of my three important minions here: Mana Worm, Sorcerer Apprentice, and Flame Waker. Otherwise, I'm kind of buying time until I hit those minions. The light protects me. I'm gonna coin instead of coin out the mad scientist because I think he might miss his turn two drop with this kind of deck. And if I play Mad Scientist, he can attack and hero power the Mad Scientist. That way he has something good to hero power here. If I stagger it on turn 3 for him, then he's more likely to have a 3 drop here. And then he doesn't get to hero power or anything good on turn 2. I played like Arjun Squire Druid deck. It's not, it's not consistent to have a 2 drop. Like, I, I don't know, I've played a lot of Druid in the past trying to use like Vi Teacher and these kind of weird things and it's not very consistent early as far as hitting drops. Glory to the Sindora. <laughs> okay. Weird. Mo moon I wonder what Moonfire means. I don't know if it really means anything. The Blood Knight makes sense for the square. What is, why would he run me? Oh, okay, it's a Vi Teacher, yeah. That's another combo card for Vi Teacher. Uh, I'm definitely gonna, like, you generally don't want to ever play Flame Worker where, you, where it gets zero activations, right? So if I play Flame Worker in turn three, I'm mostly getting zero activations since I'm playing into a 3-3. I can save it, like, maybe after the Yeti or something. Oh, that's as good, good for me. I can Fireball here. The funny thing is, I my deck utilizes my teacher pretty good as well. Since I'm a I'm a flame wiper deck, I have a lot of spells too. I need to kill this guy anyways, right? So definitely fireball. I'm not going dream hack. Gonna stay home. It seems like I'm gonna do something like a uh, play Yeti and then Thorazon, and then by turn seven I can have really good flame wiper turns. Although by then I can just play Doctor Boom. Maybe we'll have to see. But I do want to get the spare part out. Oh, looking, let me think about this for a second. This Mirror is going to be pretty good here. I can use all my mana. Actually, yeah, another thing is his deck is pretty combo based as well, so giving him a spare part might not be great. Also, get the 1 1 here. Pretty cool. This deck is kind of weird. Oh, uh, Auctioneer, maybe. Teacher's for sure though. I'm not sure if he's running auctioneer. Alright. Emperor here is perfect. Emperor and Empty Lord right before his uh, Ancient Lore turn or Dr. Boom turn. Because Ancient Lore and Dr. Boom don't kill this, so it's like a lot of pressure on him. Flame Worker plus Mirror is not possible. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should not play Dr. Boom here because it's kind of weak to big game hunter and I'm so far ahead. Actually, it's probably better to just play oops, to play my uh, minions out here. I mean, it's almost as strong anyways. I must safeguard the land. I could start getting a lot of Flame Waker activations here, because I can do Flame Waker, Sorcerer Apprentice, and play all my spells here. F Flame Cannon and then Frostbolt. That's a lot of damn. Oh, wow. Let's do that. That's too good. Damage adds up. All this face damage. Like how many spells I cast? Something like four spells there after the, after, was that four spells? 
One, two, flame cannon. Is that three or four? Unstable portal, flame cannon, frost. I mean, it was only three, but that's still six nice. damage. Okay, so in this matchup, I wonder if mirror image is worth keeping in this matchup. Tempo mage and mirror. Like, it's bad at trading against small minions, and minions don't generally trade. He's not looking to kill my minions with his minions. Mostly using spells, too. I think I can drop it. I think basically Mirror Image shines in matchups where they like to trade. So, like against Paladin and like Zoo, for example, those are matchups where they trade a lot minion versus minion. Also, it's really good against weapon classes, though. Okay, so if I flame cannon, I can get in a 2-3 here. I think a um, mad scientist is better. Then I can get my mirror entity down as soon as possible as well. It makes all my moves weird with him getting the mirror entity down. I think in this situation, I can play flame licker here. It's hard for him to kill my guy, kind of. I might risk zero activations, but I can play it before mirror image or mirror entity, which is a big consideration. Basically, it's flame cannon. Hopefully, he doesn't have flame cannon. I'm actually unsure that it's even tempo mage. It might be um, freeze mage or something with how he's playing. Okay, I think it's freeze mage. Like the mirror entity does mirror image does two damage. I can just ping him for one damage. It's not that much difference here. I can play it next turn for two damage. I'm not too scared of having double mad scientist out at this like because of I only have mirror entity. Cause I don't think he's gonna he can't kill it as a mage. That that'd be almost impossible for him to do. I'm probably gonna save this for like Archmage at this point. This is kind of unfortunate, my hand is like, really bad against Freeze Mage. Okay, at least I got something here that's not like Doomsayer. So, and also before he kills this. I'm gonna have to value my Frost Bolts much more than Flame Cannon. I think it's like something like a Control Mage or Grinder Mage or something. So I can't kill it anyways, I guess I'll, I'll still ping it though, and save my burn, just use this, use the mirror images to lock down his guy for a couple turns here. Uh, I just need to get in as much face damage as possible. Flame cannon should be good this turn I think, maybe after killing the mad scientist. Also, I pull out another duplicate as a problem, killing Mad Scientist first. But, um. Still going for it. Giving him more heal bots is better than giving him two Drakes, I believe. But then I'm giving up a lot of pressure by trading in as well. I guess I'm not playing around duplicate. It's not Ice Bear either, although if he's running Twilight Drake, um, then he should be running maybe Giants and maybe Molten Giants. So I guess this is probably an Echo Ice Block Mage. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I guess it's Ice Block. It's 
kind of weird because I have like no pressure really to. Um, hopefully not mirror entity. If I ping this, can I ping it over three turns? So I get thrown three two, then he kills it, then I get down three one, kills this one. I think it's too greedy. It's just that's too much. That's too much. I can't plan ahead that that much that many turns. Technically, I could if he didn't do anything ever, but kind of saving burn. I'm feeling that that's probably it's block and all this said like double molten giants, for example. I think my best chance of winning this game is something like drawing Archmage. I did get Emperor activation. Okay, that's really good. Some pretty decent stuff. Oh, Eagle Horn Bow. Whenever a friendly secret, I don't have any more secrets. It doesn't work on his secrets. Why is that so big? Oh. Okay, I guess I kill both his mechs. I can still combo Firewall with Emperor, so. My mod weapon's not good either. It's better than his, though. 1 3 is probably worse. Although, if he has a mech, it's better than mine, but he doesn't. I just clear them all. Plus, his deck shouldn't really run too much more mechs. I think I might have to save Sorcerer Apprentice since he can kill with just the Cog Hammer. I just realized he duplicated two more anti kill bots, so he has a mech too. Probably another duplicate. I don't think I can win this game with duplicate and ice block, and um, can't even kill that really. Oh, that's pretty good. I guess I'm gonna have to ignore it because if I kill it, then I'll lose to duplicate. Oh, there's a chance here actually that I win this game. I should have put this first in case it was counter spell. I don't really know if it matters which one I get here. I guess this one makes more sense. And attacking doesn't really do anything here. It, actually, I'm gonna attack here. In case he has another, um, a Belcher or something. I guess I still can't win because he has two heal bots. I guess, yeah, burning him out is not really gonna work either. I guess my, I thought I could, like, maybe try to proc the block with this fireball and kill him over two turns, but... His hand is just too good right now. Oh, 11? Nah, he can go to like 18 even. I mean, technically I can proc the block, but he should have another heal bot. And I can't even proc it cleanly, like I have to waste the fireball game to like 5 or something. Well, if, my, if I knew it was this kind of deck, I should have used like Flame Cannon on turn 2 or something. Because I got stuck with a lot of Flame Cannons in my hand, and he didn't have any minions, so like, I just kind of had nothing to do for a long time. I was kind of playing around Mirror Entity, 
trying to get my stuff down before mirror entity. Okay, let's. This is a good hand against Mech Shaman. I, I guess against mid range, it's a lot worse or slightly worse. Like this hand is really good against Mech Warper and things like that, but not so good against Hunter Creeper. I should definitely attack it, like kill it. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and portal for one. Although I could save my coin, just attack and play Sorcerer Apprentice. I think that's better. Like the coin portal is not really gonna buff my mana worm. I'm attacking it anyways. And in case it doesn't kill it, like even if you kill it, I could just play Yeti. Okay, so I have uh, Frostbolt. Coin. Wait, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's play this. Let's play everything probably here. Me? I did use a lot of stuff before Flame Cannon, but I mean, uh, Flame Waker, but. Um, they were kind of cheap, so it works out for me. This is overload overload turn as well. The gates are open. Here I'm definitely not attacking that. I'm leaving too much damage. This is important because it taunts, like, when I'm scared of leaving up Totem is basically flame time, and he can't get through and have a taunt. Uh, got a... 3 0 Nation from Teruiga. I've watched your stream with Adblock off. Here's no need to compensate. I guess that means Adblock on, but <laughs> I enjoy how much you talk about your plays on stop. Thanks for the Nation, Teruiga. Wow, he got pretty unlucky there. He rolled 2 on everything. Well, I don't know what he rolled on the other one, but it didn't matter. Okay, so. Okay, I guess I'm just going YOLO face all in here. The thing is, I'm kind of weak to like Fire Mental here and then trade here, but I'm not trading like this, leading too much damage. And I also, like, it doesn't matter. He's he still will lose like that because I have Mirror Entity, so I have Lethal next turn if he does that with Fireball. Like, I'd like to prevent this trade here, but oh, he was overloaded anyways, I guess. Let's see if he's dead. I have 6 damage here. Yeah, he's dead. Temple Mage is like one of my favorite decks to play. I think it's really, like, it's really complicated the early turns fighting for board control. Like, you can maximize your, your, uh, I don't know, your, your orders. It's really important to, like, have the early turns right and it's really complicated early game. What do you think about value mage running echoes and duplicates? I know echo giant storm right now, but what about more grinder style and your advice would be great. Um I mean I've run I've run those decks before. They're like they're some of my favorite decks to play. But I think maybe Echo and Duplicate is just too much to run both of them. Like I've played Grinder Mage recently with just duplicate. Maybe or like just that go maybe a, a long time back but it's like i think running both is a little bit too much probably so i think it's okay they're not it's not one of the strongest decks but if you like it it's still definitely playable you could run like one echo in a in a grinder mage should probably be okay as well i i dropped flame cannon because if it's like if it's like in zoo there's like haunted creeper and egg just like completely kills that card so and if it's against like zoo i I want to keep I, like the card I'm really going for is Mirror Image, I think, against it. So, always capricious. Thanks for subbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. There's a Crow Fist. This is threatening. Okay, so he didn't have coin Hellfire. Um, probably does means that he doesn't have Hellfire. He's threatening Shadow Flame with this, but I'm still not gonna kill that because of Shadow Flame. Or should I? 
Like, he could just have nothing to do and wants to drop a Mount Giant next turn. Actually, uh, there's a good reason enough to do this now. Because by Frostbolting this, I can also get the Mirror Entity down. And I can spend all my mana. I would probably just drop Yeti, it's Rush Shadow Flame, but if he's playing this, it means that he doesn't have Twilight Drake, it doesn't have Hellfire, he might have Shadow Flame, and he probably has Mount Giant. So, Mount Giant is like unplayable here now. He just loses the game. Hey, Strife Girl of the Streams. Is Malagos World good enough to get Legend? Yep. Love playing it, but I have a 52% win rate. If I get good with the can compete. I actually, like on my power rankings this week on Team Liquid, I put it as the strongest deck, so it's, pro it's probably strong enough to get Legend. It's probably some spoilers, so other people put it pretty strong as well. Maybe not as strong as me, but I think it's. It's good enough to be a legend, that's for sure. It's kind of annoying here. Like, I can't kill that. And I definitely can't go all in. Because he effectively can heal. How good is... Re how important is reverse and switch? What if I reverse and switch this? What happens? It goes to... 3-2? Or 3-3? Three, three? Oh, it's 3-3. Three, three. Oh. I think I can't save it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Let me do some math real quick. If I get this 3-3 three, three trade, hit him down 5 here, he goes down 13, then he can Hellfire plus Giant. I think I'm gonna do this. 3-2 here. Or... So that way I heal him and and do the damage. That way I don't have to like worry about some molten giant turn here. Like it's worse if he can just clear my board with like and drop moltens here and then heal up as well or something. So I want to just get rid of the zombie chow. Um, okay, this is good. Got two on from YouTube Overlord. Hey Strife, hope you're happy with your new move. Just wondering if you've ever met the boy next door. Nope, I don't. I've never. I've not really met people from here. The apartment, at least. Crumtastic, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back. It's a crow fist. I have a good hand, even though it's only three cards. <laughs> I wish I had one more spell, but. Oh, that's kind of good for me dropping the molten giant. That way I don't have to worry about the second Mold Giant here, I could just go face, even if it does, it doesn't matter as much here anymore. I am gonna have to... Okay, I get one Fireball for sure, with Archmage Mirror Entity here. I'm not actually sure that Archmage Mirror Entity is the best. One Fireball is not enough to kill him, and I'm gonna get another discount, right? So, let me do some math real quick. So this will cost 5 next turn, anything I draw will cost less. So I have 8 mana next turn, anything I draw, whether it's Fireball... Mere Entity, Arcane Intellect, Frostbolt. Yeah, I, I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, I can drop the Yeti too. Okay, that's good for me. I think this is better than the Mad Scientist here. Because I get a spare part as well. So I should be able to get two Fireballs from this Archmage here now. And then that will guarantee the kill on him. Whereas if I did the Archmage Mirror Image, I'd only have one Fireball. If I didn't draw the Star all next turn or something, I wouldn't have had enough to kill him. I can guarantee like three Fireballs from Archmage, probably, because I can get a Fireball from this spare part. Oh, that means I have to suicide it. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I can get four face damage too. Okay, yeah, that, this is better. So let's go ahead and just Fireball him all in here. Oh, I didn't have enough mana anyways, I just realized, to get the spare part. But now I have enough damage, kind of, right? Like, no, no matter what, my board's not safe to Shadow Flame. Bolvar 4 Dragon. I think it, the biggest problem with Bolvar is that BJH is just too strong. You can realistically only get Bolvar to 6-7, and then you have to stop, like you have to time it. If Bulvar could just keep growing and never worry about BGH, then he'd be pretty good, I think. Like, 
it's like a high risk, high reward thing. Not like high risk, but it's like a card that takes a lot of resources to develop. I guess you're not really spending anything on Boulevard, but it's like just have have to sit in your hand for a long time. You can you just can't grow Boulevard that big, so I don't know. That's the big problem with them. If it's only silence, then I could deal with it, but because that's one less thing, but. I mean, people like Tyrion and stuff is weak to science, and he's still really good. Being weak to science is not a huge thing, but I don't know. Being weak to BJ seems like the bigger problem. When you science a minion, it's still there as a body, whereas if you just kill it, that's like the biggest uh, swing. Like, Solana's kind of weak as well, but... I guess Bulvar is even weaker than those cards, because it gets back to like a 1x, like 1-7. Whereas if he signs Tyrion, it's still 6-6, six, six. he signs Salon, still 5-5, five, five. but I mean, ultimately that's not still not the biggest problem. I think I tried Toshley for like a second, like one or two games. I, I don't know, I didn't really decide on anything. I Someday I'll be just like you! I have to use a coin here. If I don't, then the Sorcerer Apprentice kills my guy in one shot, even though I want to play Mad Scientist. Um... This stops Flame Waker, which is good. I get punished by Mana Worm, kind of, because he can kill Mana Worm for free. Hopefully it does- like, if he plays uh, Mad Scientist, I'm okay as well. I'd like to steal his Mad Scientist. I'm just mostly scared of a Mana Worm. The problem with Mad Scientist is, if he kills the Mad Scientist, I don't get a secret. Now, he can't trade- I'm okay if he trades the Sorcerer Apprentice for it, that's not what I'm scared of, I guess. But if he, say, Frostbolts it, it's bad for me, or Flame Cannon. I can Mirror Image to protect this from Flame Cannon, but... Maybe I should just AI. Okay, that's pretty good for me. I mean, I don't have enough secrets to get value out of all of my mad scientists, but still, that's... I'll take it. I guess I Frostbolt the Sorcerer Apprentice and trade in for the Zero Two, then um, my options are either to play Second Scientist or Unstable Portal here. Unstable Portal is a little bit better to save, probably. Because of uh, it's a spell, but I have a lot of spells. It's still better to save. Let's go ahead and do this. And I don't think it's worth it to suit like frostbolt the man or the image and trade for a minion just to get out the mirror entity. I'm not gonna. I, have, I don't have three secrets anyway, so this one is dead. This this mad scientist. It's just a two two. I don't really care at this point if he just. Frostbolts it here because there's no way I'm getting three secrets anyway. So I think Mech Mage is worse than Tempo Mage. The biggest problem, the other problem is Mech Mage is weaker than Zoo. And Zoo is so similar to Mech Mage as far as like what it does. So, oh wow, why did you not just do that first? That's good for me. Let's. If I play this, I can kill his Yeti for free in a way. I think I should still play it against Mirror Entity. Because I want the Emperor next turn. I can kill for free even though it's dying. Like, even though this is going to die. Hmm. So what's the reasons for trading for the 5-5? Five five? Like, it forces the ping, which is good. Problem is Flame Waker I'm weak to, but I don't I don't necessarily know if I'm weaker to Flame Waker than if I just didn't do that because he can still kill my Yeti for example or kill his Yeti anyways, and then still have a lot of spare parts. So it's pretty good. Now he has to decide whether to play a second part or to ping because if he plays a second part and misses this, he's just. Just kind of screwed. 
not I don't know, it's a really bad spot to be in, I guess. Oh. YOLOing this one. I only need to hit one. Oh. Because I can trade the mad sign, because it's very unlikely that both miss with two minions. Although, I could save that for after Emperor and make like a really cheap portal. But this doesn't make sense, because I have so many spells, so if I get Archmage after Emperor, I would win anyways, probably. Yeah, at this point, like, after if I draw Archmage, he's a goner anyways. In fact, I don't technically even need... Oh my god, okay. I don't need Emperor here anyways. I don't cast enough spells with Emperor. Let's just try to blow him out here. I don't care if it really hits that, even if it misses, because I can just make that useless with Mirror and Image. And just save my burn for face. <laughs> it's blow it's blowback time. It is blowback time. This mirror is actually really interesting because we're both giving each other spare parts of Yetis. be thirsty. Well played. 